In this video, we are going to be learning how to quickly set up Foxy Proxy with Burp Suite on Kali Linux. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open your browser and go to google.com and type Foxy Proxy Firefox and press enter. Click on the first link which says Foxy Proxy Standard. When you're on this page, click on Add to Firefox and when the pop-up appears, click on Add and check mark this box allow this extension to run in private windows and click on ok now i can confirm that my foxy proxy extension has been added to firefox so i will click on the extension icon and then click on foxy proxy and from here i'll click on options here and when you're on this page in the extreme upper tab you will see a tab called proxies so click on it and when you're in this tab click on add from here we have to provide a host name and a port so that our traffic gets intercepted into the port and the IP address. So how do we know which IP address or port to use? For that, we will open Burp Suite. So click on the Kali button on the upper left corner and type Burp Suite. Click on the Burp Suite icon to start Burp Suite. Select temporary project in memory and then click on next. Select use Burp defaults and click on start Burp. And when Burp Suite starts, click on proxy. And under proxy, you will see proxy settings. So click on proxy settings. Under proxy listeners, I can see the IP address 127.0.0.1 and it is listening to the port 8080. So I'll add this to the Foxy proxy. So I'll go back to the Foxy proxy tab and under hostname, I will add 127.0.0.1 and under port, I will add 8080 and click on save. And now our configuration of the Foxy proxy has been completed. Next, I will click on the extension icon again, click on Foxy proxy and I can see it is disabled. So I will enable it with my IP address and the port that I just provided. So I'll click on it. And now let's see if we can intercept any traffic. So I'll go back to Burp Suite and click on this icon, which will turn the intercept on and in my browser and go to any website. I can see I get an error message. The reason is we have to now import the CS certificate to our browser. So to do that, open a tab and go to the site HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Burp Suite and press enter. When you're on this page, on the upper right corner, you will see CA certificate. So click on it and your download will be completed. The file got downloaded in my downloads directory here, as you can see the file. Next, we have to import this CA certificate to our web browser. So click on the three dotted icon here on the upper right corner to open the application menu and then click on settings. On the left tab, click on privacy and security and keep on scrolling until you see certificates. And when you see certificates, click on view certificates. On the upright tab, Select authorities, under authorities, click on import. And I know that my CS certificate got downloaded into the downloads directory. So I'll go to the downloads directory and select the file. So this is the file and click on open. I will check mark these two boxes to identify websites and to identify email users and then click on okay. And then finally click on okay. Now we are all done. Let's check to see that if we can intercept any traffic or not. So I will click the extension icon one more time. Click on Foxy proxy enable my foxy proxy in my burp suite i will turn the intercept on and if i try to go to any website i can see the traffic is getting intercepted intercepting a traffic to any public website is unethical and illegal so i'll drop this request but generally this is how you intercept a traffic to a website i will intercept the traffic to my own local server that is hosted which is the os juice shop so http juice shop and I can see the traffic is intercepted. So this is how you configure Foxy Proxy with Burp Suite. Just last one thing before I finish the video. If you have trouble intercepting any traffic to your own local host, what you can do is open a new tab and go to about colon config and press enter. Click accept the risk and continue and type network dot proxy. Here you will see option called network dot proxy dot allow hijacking local host. It will be turned to false. So turn it to true and now you can intercept traffic to your own local host. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.